Hello guys, so some of you have been asking me to uh, explain how I flash a new ROM yeah, so I'm gonna do a, a small video on how I flash my ROMs uh, I'm gonna be testing some ROMs today so this is a good chance to do this video uh, this is assuming I'm already on a on a ROM that on a kernel that has a recovery so um, this is basically what I do here first thing is to press these two buttons uh, the buttons on the here and the up on the top one here which is volume up and the home one all at the same time this is gonna restart the phone to recovery just hold it there and then release it when you see the Samsung uh, boot, uh, image release there just wait a few seconds and it will go to recovery now of course you already have to put all the the ROMs and the kernels and anything that you need on your phone and I'll put a link to the ones that I'm using so you can use the volume and keys here to scroll up and down and the uh, lock button here to select uh, if you are seeing this you probably seen it before but anyway first thing I do always is I wipe the catch here hopefully the camera is getting all this and just wait for it to finish and then I go to advanced and uh, did it wipe uh, the Dalbic cache now some of this might not be necessary you know if you want to skip some of the steps it's your choice but this is how I do it and it, I always end up with a good flash so I'd rather not take the risk and I go back now what I want to do even though I'm on a, on a so-called uh, safe ICS uh, kernel which is uh, Franco's R5 I usually just go to Avis uh, kernel first which is a gingerbread one because I know it's safe for sure just in case you know the extra step so this is the first thing I do I go here save and just save from card or from the internal SD card it depends on where you have that kernel okay mine is in the internal one now I look for the folder where I have the kernel and it's right here and this is obvious uh, kernel 4.2 so I'll flash this first so I wait for it to finish uh, okay now it's important that you do this now go to advanced after flashing the kernel and select reboot recovery otherwise you'll still be on the old kernel it's gonna restart and come back to the new one this is uh, this one is actually a touch kernel so you can just push the screen instead of having to use the buttons you know so uh, again I'll do the same thing wipe cache and then go to advance and wipe uh, Dalvik catch and I selected the wrong one here we go okay now go back now in this case because I'm flashing a ROM I'm gonna be doing a wipe data factory reset if I was just flashing a different kernel like Franco or some Chainfire or any other then I wouldn't do all this it's gonna take a, a few seconds here while it deletes everything okay now I go back I can go to install from zip card and I'm gonna select what I have the new ROM that I want to flash so in this case I have it under one new ROM folder so I'm gonna be testing first this one that's called clean note 2.0 so I select that we have the list again click yes where it says to install and it's gonna take uh, some time now for it to finish all this now again this is assuming you have a, a ROM that has a recovery like this one um, so if you are still on the stuck one and it doesn't have recovery you want to check how to flash the recovery first and root and another thing to note is that sometimes I've seen Franco's uh, kernels not able to flash some things 
So that's one of the reasons I always go to back to uh, to Abyss or Abyss or whatever you want to call it. So still waiting for it to finish. It takes a while. Now after all this is done, you're gonna boot to uh, the Android ICS. You're gonna go through the whole installation process and all that. And usually what I do is then I will go back to recovery using the three buttons like I did before. And then I'll look for for Abyss again and, and use that kernel. And then I will just uh, flash the, the new one which will be Franco R5 which is my favorite because it has the overclocking. So in that case I will only delete the Dalvi cache and the cache partition. Only when I'm doing a new ROM is when I delete also the factory reset part. But you know, feel free to do it any way you want. But this is the way I've been doing it all the time. And uh, this is gonna take a long time, usually. But I just want you guys to see the whole thing the way it comes up. And then we should be done with this video. And uh, I will add a small video showing how I set up the the overclocking. But that will be with the Franco kernel. Still extracting data. Okay, so now it's ready to go up. Just go back and then reboot the system now. And wait for it to go up. Still booting. It's gonna take a while. And all of this you can skip if you are familiar with you know nothing special is gonna happen, you're just gonna have the regular login part where you put your name and your Google account and all that stuff. So but if anyone wants to stay around until that shows up then I'm gonna let it record. Yeah, I need to find out a way to edit all this so I can make it faster. Hopefully I can find it. But if not, just skip the video. Okay, I see the lights coming up at the bottom. You can see it in there. That usually means it's getting closer. Now, in order to see this correctly, you better try and put a high definition version of the video so you can see the small uh, text of what I'm selecting. Uh, remember that I'll put all the links in the description. And if you have any questions, let me know. Just uh, enter a comment and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Uh, this sure takes a long time when you're actually looking at it. That's why I normally just walk away and come back when it's ready. Okay, now it's installing applications. So basically this is done. I mean, really the only thing to wait for is uh, to see the, the screen when it when you start the actual login to the phone. So I don't see much point of waiting more. I wonder what that message was. It's a good thing I have it on film and I can go back and see what it said.
that's it now you select what you need to select log in set up everything if you are with AT&T you probably have to fix your uh, uh, VPN or the connection to your network because otherwise it will be really slow uh, so I'll look up for the next video when I will add the overclocking part and uh, any questions just ask